Hoi there, small fry, Jim Sterling here, and it's time for the spooky, etc. edition of Itchio Tasty, the series in which we write a random word in itch.io search bar and see what kind of weird and wonderful games we might find. Obviously, with Halloween coming up around the corner, the word I used this week was Halloween. So let's see what great Halloween-themed games we found, shall we? We'll kick things off with Graveyard Run. And now this is a very simple runner game, basically. You press space and that's it. That's your interaction. You press in space uh, to avoid death. And that's about it. It's, it's not exactly Cannibalt, unfortunately, or One Epic Night. I love One Epic Night. Uh, it's very randomized. And when I say very randomized, what I mean by that is it's luck-based. And the... Gravestones, mausoleums, and, and pitfalls are so, so randomly placed that it's really just a matter of luck as to whether or not you get a configuration you can actually avoid. Uh, the controls are fairly unresponsive, uh, it, it's a, and then the jumping is unpredictable, and it kind of really has a bad arc on it. So really it's, it's up to the game whether or not you get very far in it. Uh, you just got to get lucky with where things are placed because sometimes you'll find a configuration of gravestones and mausoleums and, and falls that you you just can't get out of hitting. So, yeah, I mean, I like runner games, actually. But but this one is not not really that great. So this one gets two ghosts out of 15 busters. Monster is a tragic one, actually. I, I found this one really, really tragic because on the face of it, it's a fantastic game. Uh, it looks beautiful. It's got a great art style. The main character is this uh, cute, adorable little devil. Uh, it's kind of stealth strategy game where you use candy to lure children away from uh, guards so you can eat them up. The idea is sound. The controls are fucked. Uh, the main problem is they recommend using a controller. The only problem with using a controller is the button you press to lure children with candy is every single face button. Uh, the button you use to uh, eat a child is square if you're using a DualShock 4 or X if you're using a 360 controller. Uh, the trouble with that is, is you drop a candy therefore every time you eat a kid. So you, you go home, you eat the child and then a bit of candy automatically falls out of you. And if you leave any candy on the map, you lose the, that stage. So it's actually impossible to win with a controller. Um, trouble with the keyboard, it doesn't work properly. Some of the commands are missing. Uh, I found it impossible to move left or right. Eventually, I was stuck using the, the controller to move and the keyboard to eat, which was not an ideal setup, if I'm honest. Um, it's a shame. I think with good controls, that would be fantastic. I would, I would actually like to see something like that on a console or on Steam. I, I, there's something there. This game has something, uh, but I, could, I couldn't configure the controls myself and the controls as they stand are fucked. And as you see from this clip, uh, if you, I mean, the, the, the laying down the, the candy is so sensitive. Like you can just tap it and lay down three at once or even more, holding it and you can fill the whole screen. Uh, yeah, so mechanically just balked. Otherwise, uh, yeah, it could be really something, so that's quite tragic. So that gets uh, uh, five candies out of five million candies just dropped all over the place by, by some apeshit devil. Trick or treat or die is a top-down shooter. A very simplistic one. It's made in Unreal Engine, uh, not that you could tell. Uh, it's visually not that great, I mean, let's be honest. Uh, the main problem with this one is uh, you take one hit to get killed, uh, many of the enemies take several, uh, which is just kind of annoying. It does have a very clever idea with ammo though, you shoot candy corn, and if you run out or come close to running out, you have to go to one of the houses that surround the area and press a button to trick or treat and get more candy. So that's actually quite a clever idea. Uh, the only trouble is, is again, with the monsters being um, tougher to put down than you are, uh, they have a tendency to surround you as you get to a house and then you can't get out in time. Um, if you're lucky, you can kind of slip past them, but again, it's luck. So, yeah, sound idea, uh, with a visual overhaul, it could be something. The trick-or-treat idea is actually quite a, kind of a clever one. 
Uh, otherwise, it's going to get uh, six candy corns out of, I don't know, eight, nine, ten, however many you want, really. I Wanna Be the Ghostbuster, if you couldn't tell from the title, it's based heavily on I Wanna Be the Guy. Uh, it's as frustrating as oh, I want to be the guy. Uh, the main issue with this one is that your um, ammo and your jumping ability are tied to one single power meter, which makes it incredibly frustrating. Uh, it's 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 tough to do. Uh, it's it's got rage game written all over it, but perhaps not for the right reasons. Looks good. The music is repetitive as hell, but strangely catchy. Uh, I really like the way it looks, I like the idea, I, I like a lot about it, uh, it's just, the, it's setup is kind of annoying, um, but otherwise, I mean, it's got a nice variety of enemies, uh, enemies that are really good at hitting you with projectiles, uh, and yeah, it's, I like it, I like it, I just, I feel like if they rebalanced it a little bit, maybe gave us two I mean, would it be asking too much for a, for a separate ammo and, and power, like jetpack counter? I feel like that would improve the game like tenfold. Uh, but that's just me. I want to be the Ghostbuster. Not too bad. Not too shabby at all, actually. So that's going to get um, five pumpkins out of carving of oh, pumpkins. Pump, it's gonna, pumpkins. Pump, pumpkins. Halloween trifle, I don't know what the fuck's going on with this one. Skip it. Bullshit. Gets, I don't know, ghosts up your ass. Frankie's Halloween 20 Floors of Terror. I'll tell you what, I did get through 20 floors. Uh, it's a very simple side-scrolling game. Uh, it's bare bones, and I'm not just saying that because it's got skeletons in it. Uh, it having skeletons in it, of course, uh, raises it in my estimation because something that contains skeletons is uh, obviously very important. Uh, but it's laggy control-wise. I got as far as these three saw blades that I couldn't get across and then gave up. Um, yeah, it's it's not great. You can configure your own controls, but that only works for one uh, round. If you die, the controls reset back to default, so I had to relearn the controls after setting them up in a way I was comfortable with. Um, I, I hesitate to say there's something there. I mean, there is something there. It is uh, quite, you know, I appreciate they've put effort into it, I'll say that, let's not, I won't be mean in any way, uh, I appreciate what they've done, um, but, you know, so I'm, I, I'm gonna, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to give that five floors of terror out of 20 floors of terror, uh, wish it could be, be, you know, give it more, but that's just the way the spooky crumbles. Halloween Forever is the highlight of our little look through the Halloween games. Uh, this one costs $2.99 and I actually paid for it uh, purely because it looked legit. It's got a real nice uh, sort of Ghosts and Goblins vibe to it. Um, and it's not as difficult as that. It's actually quite a simple, easy little platformer. Um, like a platformer, shooty, shooty platformer. You play as a jack-o'-lantern in dungarees, which is just awesome off the get-go and you just shoot at bats and, and chainsaw wielding hockey mask monsters and just various spooky opponents uh, it's it, I really like it I really really like it uh, it's got some fun bosses a great soundtrack visually it's very pleasant it's one it's retro but not um, unoriginally retro because the enemy designs I think are really nice and original it's got some nice nods to Castlevania in it uh, it's it's cool it's really neat um, definitely as I say the highlight it's my choice pick I would say it's well worth the 2 dollars if you if you fancy buying it on Ichio uh, I would actually recommend you purchasing this one uh, I'd like to see it actually on something like the 3DS uh, you know I don't know how they'd get that but I don't know how that works but if, if they got that on a portable device I would play the shit out of it Halloween Forever top marks so that's gonna get like billion pumpkins out of billion then there's Halloween Forest which isn't Halloween Forever at all you shoot at JPEGs of pumpkins and zombies and it's just it's not very good um, very slow paced sluggish um, clearly using things got off Google image search because you can see the artifacts around some of the things. Oh yeah, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but the zombies that you fight are taken from the aforementioned ghosts and goblins. So, 
yeah, doesn't look like there's any real original artwork going on here at all, and in fact some of it may be copyrighted. Lovely! To be honest, there were some other really interesting games, but uh, most of them for, uh, for uh, Oculus Rift, so I, I didn't play them. But, yeah, Halloween Forest, it gets... I don't know. Fucking... What else is Halloween? Frankenstein. So that's that, that's Itchio Tasty for this week. Like I said, I would like to have covered some more, but... Um, I only cover the ones that A, work, B, um, actually are recordable, some of them are, uh, and C, aren't for fucking Oculus Rift. Uh, but we got some nice selections here. Like I say, Halloween Forever, highly recommended. Monster is something I really want to recommend if they can sort their controls out. Uh, the rest is, you know, good to not so good. It was, I think it was a good haul this this week. I think we actually we had we came away with some winners, which is nice. Uh, so I'm gonna go now and and really rec again recommend Halloween Forever because I'm really quite taken with it. Uh, so until next time, get itchy and stay tasty, my friends.